Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at how to store patterns inside the CC libraries in Adobe Illustrator because on the face of it, it does not work, but I'm going to show you how to make it work. It's pretty simple once you know how. I'm going to start by opening a file that actually has a pattern in it. So here is my pattern of umbrellas in this set of swatches. I actually have got four versions of this pattern. Each of them are recolored. I want to save them in my CC libraries, which have just disappeared here. So let's go to window and libraries. So I want to save them in here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new group for my patterns, just going to make life a bit easier. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to call it Helen's Patterns. This will allow me to save all my patterns in a group, just make things a little bit neater. So what we're going to do is to put this particular shape in here because you can't actually take the patterns out of the swatches panel. That's not how it works. Now also be aware that whatever you have here on the screen in front of you is going to appear in the library. So it might be easier to create a smaller version of this just so that what you see in the libraries panel is smaller. So what I'm going to do is just make a little square here with my pattern. Now at this point I could use object transform move and I could disable transform objects so I'm only transforming my patterns and I could make sure that my pattern is differently placed inside my document. So you could do all sorts of things here. You could also shrink it down in size, whatever you want to do. But I just want to make it clear in this little box here for me that this is an umbrella pattern. Now this is a rectangle with the pattern in it. And so what I'm going to do is just pick it up and drop it into my Helen's pattern area. So drag and drop it in there and it's going to appear once it's uploaded in this area. Okay, so that's now done. So I'm going to take this piece of artwork. I don't need it any longer and I'm going to delete it. Now I could continue and do that for a number of patterns. It's very easy to do just that same process. Fill a rectangle with your pattern, drop it in here. The trick is going to be using it. So let's just close this file down. I'm not going to save the changes to it. Let's create a brand new file. I'm just going to do a square document. So now in the libraries panel we have our artwork but it's artwork and it's not a pattern. So the thing that you're not going to do is to just drag this out. So let's just show you why you're not going to do that. With this just dragged out into the document, if I go to the layers panel and open up this panel here, you'll see that we've just got artwork. It's just artwork. We can't get access to the patterns here. So I'm just going to delete that because that's not what we do. Instead of just dragging it, what we're going to do is we're going to Alt or Option drag it. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key because I'm on a PC. I'm going to drag it out. Now everything looks like it's working exactly the same way. And over here we've got artwork, so it sort of looks like it's not working, but you can see here that there's something in here. When I click to open it, what we've got is a rectangle that is filled with our pattern. So when we alt drag the artwork out of here, what we do is we get access to the pattern. So this is our pattern fill and let's go to the swatches panel and you can see here that because the pattern is already in use, it's now in this document. So it's automatically added to this document merely for the process of alt dragging the artwork out of here. Doesn't happen when you just drag the artwork out of there, got to be alt drag. So that's a very easy way of keeping your pattern somewhere different to in the user defined swatches. You can keep them in your libraries. Just be aware that to get them in there, you're going to fill a rectangle or a circle or something and drag and drop it into this panel. And then when you bring it out again, what you want to do is alt or option drag it so that you get access to it through the layers panel. So I hope that helps you. It's very counterintuitive. I wish that Adobe would make it easier for us to store patterns in Adobe CC libraries, but there you have the process for doing it should you wish to do so. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. 
If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.